they're not putting the puck below the goal line to try to create a four check. They're putting the puck below the goal line so they could change because they're tired. So, so Bender now leaving one in front. Krona able to knock it aside. It's Jock's leading. That's unbelievable. All time. It's amazing, right? They're all-time leading games played for Minnesota Duluth with those two guys. Yeah, well. And those two guys started as a third-pairing defense behind four really good ones in Perunovic, Sandberg, Wolf. Savoy, a pretty good one in his own right. Leaves one this time. Good opportunity. Tried to find right. Intercepted by Jocks. Jesse Jocks now with Biondi with him. Jocks to Biondi in the back of the net! Blake Biondi opens the scoring! The Denver assistant coach Dallas Ferguson said to me earlier today, when you play possession, there's a mistake always lurking, lurking on the horizon. There it was. And a turnaround for UMD and a great centering pass. And Biondi has been terrific. Puts a stick down. You see Denver three sticks in the lane. And they managed to squeak it through to Biondi. In high-powered opposition. One of the stingiest teams in the conference, giving up just 2.6 goals per game. I remember Minnesota Duluth talked a lot about playing St. Cloud last weekend. Whoa, look at that divide, creating something out of nothing that time. Paying dividends thus far as Krona forced at the back-to-back -back saves on the back post, though. Waiting for the open net, Kobe Bender. The hot streak continues for the fifth-year senior, and it's 2-0 Bulldogs. The puck was gloved into the net, no goal. So, now, so they're saying that the puck was directly put in. You know what? Bender made contact with the puck just across the goal line. That's a really good call. That's a good review, and that's a good call. And I give the guys in the stripes credit. And this is one of the best power plays in the country. Denver clicking at 26% on the year. Bulldogs penalty kill really good as well as Gutman sends that one high. Fanti makes the initial stop. The rebound was there. Lohite able to get it. Title hopes alive. Great job there as Groth nearly set up Cates for the empty net chance. Instead, it comes to Mazur. Under 30 seconds. Mazur pushed aside now. Roth sending one down. And it is in! Kofi Roth! Who else but number 10? to get the second goal of the night. And they will be headed to tomorrow night's championship game here at the XL Energy Center. Another shutout for Ryan Fancy. The league's goaltender of the year notches his fifth white